And welcome everyone to England's Northwest. The action soon to get underway here at Old Trafford. I'm Derek Ray on the commentary gantry and delighted to be joined as always by Stuart Robson. And every reason to believe we're in for an entertaining match here. It is Manchester United facing Genk. Thanks Derek. Well both managers will be reminding their players of starting the game quickly. Pitting the opposition back, playing the ball forward and regaining possession as quickly as possible. Hopefully, we get a really good game here. Well, Manchester United have chosen this particular shape. David De Gea begins in goal. Rafael Varane plays alongside Harry Maguire in central defence. Frenkie de Jong plays alongside Christian Eriksen in the centre of midfield. And the starting role in attack is handed to Cristiano Ronaldo. And moving the ball nicely. It's a neat move. Here's Ericsson. It might still be problematic. Threat over for now, it seems. Paul Ebere Onuachu. Bongonda with it. Is it going to end up being productive for them? Christian Torstved. Physically strong. Can he give them the lead? Well, it might still work out for them. And a goal it is. But in all honesty, the keeper should have done much, much better. Well, when you look at this again, there's two things wrong defensively about this. First of all, the goalkeeper should not be parrying it into a dangerous area, and the defenders have to be sharper to get to the knockdown. It's not good defending all round. So on they go again, and that really should shake up United. Can they find a response now? Ericsson. And here is Malassia. Rafael Varane. Ronaldo. De Jong. And return to Ronaldo. And they couldn't quite muster a real threat. Ito. Christian Torstved. Heinen, Roshovsky with it. Another successful intervention, winning the ball back. Eriksson, Lisandro Martinez. Here's Ronaldo. Ronaldo. Fantastic work to thwart the danger. Heinen. Well, there you can see it. The visitors haven't been able to control possession. But what they've done with it has been really good. And they'll be happy with the way the game is being played at the moment. They love to play on the counter-attack. Ericsson. Excellent use of the ball as they make their way forward. Good play it in. Oh, it's a penalty in the opinion of the referee. And maybe they'll be able to level this up. Well, no card handed out. He gets away with a rebuke. Well, a lot of referees would have booked him there. But I'm with him on this one. No yellow card for me. Chance to even things up here. And in it goes, as coolly as you like. Never in any doubt from the spot. Well, here's the replay. And the goalkeeper dives early, and that's why he goes straight down the middle. What a good penalty. Watch the goalkeeper all the way. Excellent.
back underway. Level pegging. One goal apiece in this game. Brian Heinen. There to take it away. Cristiano Ronaldo. Splendid tackle and a throw in coming up. It is a decent looking attack here. Good tackle, it'll be a throw. And the cross is very much on. De Jong. Was spot on with that challenge. Onuachu. Christian Torstved. Quick thinking to dispossess his opponent. Well, there is going to be stoppage time, but only the one minute. Room to manoeuvre on the wing with the game level let's see what they can do with this corner well they haven't created too much lately but the fans know this is a chance to take the lead here can he deliver it with accuracy And a foul in the opinion of the referee. Now, what can they do from this free kick situation? will do it for the first half here at the Theatre of Dreams well he's been a long way from his best up front Stuart the teams are ready to have a go at each other again as the second half commences Heinen Von Gonda with it. Paul Ebere Onuachu. Dangerous looking attack. And that was a very fine read. Pressing high. And they have the ball again. Ericsson. It's with Martinez. And return to Ronaldo. Oh, lovely ball. And the keeper did magnificently. Well, that's just a wonderful save. How did he stop that? Here's a change for Manchester United. Let's see about the delivery. The corner kicks keep on coming. <laughs> Substitution time it is here. The short option preferred. De Jong, really vital interception. Breaking at pace. He's in control of the situation. De Chimier. 
And so 30 minutes left for play in this one. Well, they keep working away, looking for an opening. And intercepts again. Well, there it is. United have had most of the ball, but it's been a frustrating performance from them so far. They just haven't had enough guile in the final third. It's all been a bit too predictable, which has to change if they want to win this one. He'll be delighted to have won the ball, having made that difficult challenge. Ito. Muhaid. Oh, nice ball. And he read it well defensively. Well, these fans are driving their team on here, but can United find a winning goal? Not long left now. Still pushing for the goal that would put them ahead, but not forcing it. What an important piece of defending. De Chimie. Now we're inside the final 15 minutes. Theo von Gonda. Paul Ebere Onuachu. Difficult to stop him. Well, the keeper reacted magnificently. And United will switch things around personnel-wise. Number 21, Frankie Dijon. Coming onto the pitch, number 18, Bruno Fernandes. Trying to pick out a teammate. Great save to keep it even. Well, it's a fantastic stop and so important at this stage of the game. Here's a change for Manchester United. And now the delivery. It's opening up for them. That's a very impressive piece of defending. Donny van der Beek. Can they hit on the break? Defenders need to cover. Bruno Fernandes. And space to cross it. Well-timed tackle. Paul Ebere Onuachu. Well, the atmosphere is so tense inside this stadium, but can they find that moment of magic to win this game? The crowd certainly thinks so. Just listen to them. Two minutes of stoppage time coming up. Bruno Fernandes. On to Van der Beek. On the attack. Is there to be late drama? And that is the whistle for the end of the 90. Nothing at all to separate these two. Well, back underway here, and it's quite simple. Both teams must steal themselves for 30 extra minutes. Maguire. Van der Beek. Bruno Fernandes has it. Marcus Rashford. Donny van der Beek.
And now with Torstved. And a poor ball. Not to be advised giving the ball away there. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Jaden Sancho. Running with the ball confidently. Sancho. And the keeper had the measure of it. Can he deliver it with accuracy? Fractionally over the top. Ronaldo and possibilities inside the box but dealt with efficiently so deciding to make a personnel change at this juncture Who can they pick out? Half time in extra time, and still they are level. And away they go again. Second period of extra time has commenced. Munoz. And on to Torstved. Cristiano Ronaldo. Bruno Fernandes. On to Ronaldo. Pass after pass, keeping their opponents moving. Now, what can they produce on the flank? And really, it had to be further away from the keeper. Well, they're certainly thinking about a winner. Five minutes left on the second period of extra time. If nothing changes, it will be decided by means of a penalty shootout. But he stopped them just when they looked menacing. And he's going to be disappointed with that pass. Bruno Fernandes. There is going to be stoppage time, but only the one minute. Ronaldo. Bruno Fernandes. Can they forge ahead? Yes is the answer. And that could be oh so important. Well, that was a fairly easy finish in the end, but he still had to take it. He won't mind how they come, though. And that is going to be that. Well, a tale of woe in terms of the scoreline as far as the visitors are concerned here.
Well, Derek, not quite good enough today. Yes, they only lost by one goal, but they never felt they were in control of the game. A frustrating day all round for the coach to think about for the next time.